Hello students, in the previous lecture, we discussed type of scalar point functions, point function, vector point function, level surface and directional derivative of the directional derivative. Now, in this chapter, we will drive some theorem based on the gradient of the scalar point function on level surface and drive equation of the tangent and normal to the level surface and find the angle between the two level surfaces. Now let's drive the first theorem. Prove that the gradient of V, what will be? It is a scalar point, scalar point function that is del of V is a vector normal to the surface this on to the level surface V of x y z equal to C, where C is a constant. We have tried in the previous lectures, we know that the gradient of V will always act along the uh, gradient of V at any point of the level surface will always act along the normal. Now, we are proving the same thing, same thing in this theorem. Proof is, let, we are given, let V of x y z equal to C is a level surface. And let R is the position, ve position vector of any point P on the given level surface. And therefore, if the, if the position P is any point, this P is any point on this. P is any point on this surface. Therefore, the position vector of P will be the coordinates of P are x, y, z. The position vector of P will be. This is the reference of x in reference of plane in the dimensional plane with the reference axis would be r is equal to x r plus y z plus z. Let us take another one another level point Q whose position vector is r plus del r. It's a level point level to P. This point of PR uh, Q R level to P point of PR. This Q point is very close, remains very close to P. And coordinates of uh, Q bar uh, X plus del X, Y plus del Y, Z plus DZ. X plus DZ, Q by L, X plus DX, Y plus DY, Z plus DZ. On the given left surface. Therefore, the position vector of this position vector of the point is R plus del R. Therefore, in component form, this will be. After R plus del dr is equal to x plus dx alpha plus y plus dyj plus z plus dz k. Now, now this this is we form a triangle here. Anyways, this is uh, p point. This is q point. Now p q will be given by p q point of p r x or z the point of q r x plus del x y plus y plus dy z plus dz. Now from triangle la P O Q P Q will be given by P Q will be given by this is equal to uh, P Q will be P M Q O Q minus O Q O Q minus P Q this will be O Q minus this is O Q, this is O P, O P minus O P, O Q minus O P will be D X, alpha to D Y Z D Z. As Q approaches, mean, because the point P and Q are very close, they are never point. So as Q approaches P, along the second P Q, as Q approaches P along the second P Q. The second as q will be the second pq becomes the tangent at p. Second pq will become tangent line at p. Okay, to the level surface. Now, this is therefore this uh, dr vector is equal to dx alpha plus dyz plus dz k lies in the if this is the tangent uh, at ten, tangent at point p as q approaches p. Then this uh, 
deep arbitrage lies on the tangent plane to the level surface of the plane. Right? So now this this uh, vector P uh, D R vector lies on the tangent plane, tangent plane uh, at point P. Now let's find the dot product of uh, uh, D R vector and guess uh, gradient of scale point. So we know gradient D R we have uh, this D R is is lying on the tangent plane line this dot this dot and then gradient of v so dot product of this is equal to i dot i is equal to one j dot g to one and j dot g to one other other i dot g j dot g to v zero so this is equal to positive is to x dx positive to v plus y dy plus v to v is z dz and this is the total derivative of v total derivative of v now v how much v is v is equal to constant if you differentiate this constant differentiate uh, find total derivative v is to x is equal to dv dv and if you find differentiate this is d, 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 constant derivative c is equal to zero so this implies dv is equal to zero what is implied dr dot del v gradient of v is equal to zero this implies if dot product of two vectors is zero means both are vectors are perpendicular to each other. Now, dr lies in the tangent plane to the uh, level surface at p. Therefore, uh, gradient of v is normal to the surface at p. Surface at p. So, this is we have proved it earlier also, and then this term also gives us uh, the gradient of v. Directional derivative of the scalar point function at any point will always la, la, uh, act along the normal uh, to the surface at which we are finding the gradient of the large surface. Now, next one is prove that gradient of V is a vector in the direction in which the maximum value of the, uh, the direction that V uh, is to ds of this. Is it ds means? Uh, this is the direction derivative in any direction. Dr n means direction in direction of normal. We know that the directional derivative of v in the direction of any unit vector a is given by this is, this, this, this is the definition of this dv ds will give us the direction derivative of the this scalar uh, level surface in the direction of any unit vector a. So how will get so, uh, if we uh, if you want to uh, find the component of uh, uh, gradient of v in the direction of a, this will give the direction of no, no, no. If I see now, this is uh, this is equal to a vector is this along this, this integral is along this, and uh, del is this. This would be uh, uh, del of v along x along with this vector. P, PQ to compound this. So, uh, if you want to compound in direction of an vector, this is equal to uh, del V dot del S will give the direction dot derivative of the uh, gradient of V in the direction of so this, this will be here. Yes. Yes. So, this is the V in the direction of uh, A is equal to this component dot A. So this is a fixed number. So dot product this is scalar dot product a vector dot n is equal to component of uh, n direction of a into cos theta. This is equal to u to a into the cos of theta theta then will be vector and n vector. That is the So vector three is one, also the vector n is one, so this will be cos theta. So now the whole this is direction relative v along normal. So direction derivative of v uh, in any direction will be component of the direction derivative of v along normal normal component of this number component of the direction derivative of uh, the direction derivative of v along normal uh, of this in the direction of the any derivative any derivative so ds dvds 
ਕਰਲੀ ਵੀ ਕਰਦੀ ਐ ਸੀ ਕਿੰਤੂ ਕਰਲੀ ਵੀ ਕਰ ਲੈਨ ਫੋਲੋ ਥੀਟਾ ਸੋ ਵੇ ਥੀਟਾ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਥੀਟਾ ਇਜ਼ ਐਂਗਲ ਮੀਨ ਲੈਨ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਕਟਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੇਨ ਨਾਮਲ ਵੈਕਟਰ ਸੋ ਨਾਉ ਨਾਉ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਫਿਕਸ ਇਸ ਫਿਕਸ ਸੋ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਡੈਰੀਵੇਟਿਵ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਮੀਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਫਿਕਸ ਥੈਟ ਇਟ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਨਾਮ ਨਾਮਲ ਇਨ ਫਿਕਸ ਸੋ this will be maximum direction derivative of in the in any direction uh, gradient of the direction derivative in any direction in which direction is this maximum of this in which the maximum value of this occurs so in order to find maximum value direction that this occurs the direction derivative when will this maximum this is constant so when this this will be maximum this will be maximum when will this maximum this will be maximum uh this will be maximum this is fixed maximum when cos theta is cos theta is maximum cos theta is maximum that is cos theta is equal to 1 cos theta is maximum this is maximum and we so cos is maximum cos is maximum and uh, this will be is 1 theta is equal to 0 that is when a is along the norm when the wind vector or norm which uh, uh, will act along the normal so the maximum value of the direction derivative will, be, will always be along the norm the direction derivative is maximum along the normal to the level surface uh, along which the vector uh we do the scale for functions and what is maximum value this is modulus of gradient of x value will be this will be gradient of the this gradient of uh, modulus of gradient of right and let's try right? the necessary and sufficient condition for the scalar point function phi to be constant is that gradient of phi now this is a necessary part a part let's assume that phi is a constant necessary and sufficient condition for the scalar point function phi uh, to be constant is that gradient so we suppose this is constant now we'll prove that that uh, gradient of phi if this is constant means independent of x y z the gradient uh, positive is of phi is to x plus y is to y plus phi is to z will be zero but we know that gradient of phi is equal to um, coupled from the equal positive phi is to x gradient of phi is equal to positive phi is to x i to phi is to y plus phi is to z so when substitute value is at zero this becomes gradient of phi is to zero if phi is constant now substitute part assume that gradient phi is 0 we prove that phi is constant now we know that gradient of phi definition of this is to be the zero vector two vectors are equal if their components are equal for this to be a zero vector uh, as component is equal to 0 j component is 0 x component is 0 y component is 0 and z component is 0 all three components zero first this apply first to phi is equal to 0 but phi phi is equal to phi is equal to 0 this implies phi is equal to x so that implies phi is constant if the is equal to if the gradient of uh, any scalar function is zero that means the the, the, the scalar function is constant as you find the equation of the tangent plane and normal to the surface the level surface is of the vector you can see at a two proof is the given level surface is this this is the f of x y z let r r is the is a point the coordinate x y z is the position vector of any point p on the level surface so this is position vector therefore then gradient of phi you know the if phi is the level surface the gradient of phi will be sorry f is the level surface Gradient of f will be, first f is to x, i will be positive. 
average y by the ratio tan of the root tan tan is a vector along the normal to the surface if we is any point on this level surface if we find the gradient of, of uh, that level surface at any point you know that the direction that we take vector quantity and we left along the normal to the level surface so therefore delta a what is this you want to find the equation equation of the tangent at um, p and the equation tells this is now del of f is perpendicular to the because this is acting along normal normal is always perpendicular to tangent plane therefore uh, gradient of f is perpendicular to the tangent plane right now how to find equation of equation of tangent plane now let r vector push r into a delta of y in this way be the position vector of any current point q on the tangent plane is it okay you can have p to fix point of theta for x y z position is r vector and now you have may usi tangent plane pe ka point hai and one one point on the tangent plane now on here means this pq line pq line in the tangent plane pq of b using triangle of the tradition pq would be equal to op minus oq op minus op so o, r is minus for so, this will be x minus x alpha y is equal to y now this uh, vector is lying in the tangent plane but this tangent this is this means pq is perpendicular to uh, gradient of f uh, because we know that f uh, gradient of f is lying along the is, will act along the normal to the surface at point p so both both the vectors are perpendicular so if the vector perpendicular the dot product must be equal to zero so this dot product and pq pq vector dot pq vector dot gradient of f which is equal to the pair dot product of the means i dot i is equal to D dot D is equal to one, and I dot D is equal to zero. So this is the tangent at point P, which is the tangent at point P. Now, similarly, the process to find the equation of normal. Now again, now for the normal, this point, uh, let R be the position vector of which uh, vector of any current point Q dash. Q dash on the normal. Q dash would be x dash, y dash, z dash on the normal uh, at p to the left. This is the p point. This is a tangent plane. Now this q point was here. P point was here in coordinate x z and x y z and then this is equal to x y z and q is on the normal. Right now, now if we apply triangle of equation OP OQ PQ will be PQ will be how much? This is X dash minus PQ is equal to X dash minus X iota Y dash minus Y J Z. Now PQ vector and del and gradient of f gradient of f also act along pq op act along op op pq and pq also lies on the normal at normal at p the surface so what does it imply this uh, gradient of p and pq are parallel if they are parallel then their cross product must be equal to zero find which will give which uh, is the vector equation of the normal and uh, to the level surface to find this equation to find this equation partition form since pq is parallel pq is parallel to the gradient of p so therefore pq will be this vector will be scalar times this vector or scalar times 
After eliminating lambda from these three equations, we'll get the equation of the tangent, which is x plus minus x upon partial derivative f is 2x is equal to y dash minus y upon partial derivative f is 2y is equal to z dash minus z upon partial derivative f is 2z. This, this is the equation, the equation of the normal at the point P to the length. Now, let us find the angle of intersection between the two surfaces. The angle of intersection between the two surfaces is defined as the angle between the normals to the level surfaces at the point of intersection. And or it is also defined as if the two surfaces uh, uh, level surface phi 1 of x y z and phi 2 of x y z intersect at uh, an angle theta then then the angle between uh, phi, uh, gradient of phi 1 and gradient of phi 2 the normals uh, to the point of intersection of the two surfaces is given by cos of theta is equal to gradient of, gradient of phi 1 dot gradient of phi 2 upon modulus of gradient of phi 1 